Hi everybody, Yara here. I hope you're all well. Now, also wishing you um, a very happy first of Advent Sunday. Only three more to go until Christmas. Hmm. Now, in this particular video, I'd like to talk about um, something that actually has not been preoccupying me at all, but it seems it is preoccupying quite a large number of people. And I'd like to talk about um, twin flames, soulmates, etc. Now, why I'd like to talk about this is um, because lately I've attracted into my life or environment or awareness people that are or were or are very much preoccupied, even all consumed with this quest for this holy grail, the quest for the twin flame, the quest for the, the, the soulmate, or the quest for Mr. Right. And I've particularly come across um, a gentleman, an acquaintance of mine, who has lately been just left by a lady friend again, and he was very, very distraught, and it really pained me to see his dialogue saying, oh, I thought she was the one, I thought she was the one. And we started talking and it um, inspired that, uh, it transpired that um, all of his relationship, or let's say, with every time, every time he embarked on a new relationship, he thought she's the one and subsequently the relationship did not hold, it went into pieces. Now, I've seen this happening um, all around, also I have many asking me, oh please Yara, can you not have a look if so-and-so is my twin flame? And um, so I wanted to really explore this in a channeling. Now, as per usual, don't hang up, I get into the zone and see what my greater aspect has to say about that, what knowledge they wish to impart. Until the next time, I love you very much, the channeling will follow. Goodbye, bye, love you. We are the greater aspect of the vessel of Yara. We greet you with so much love. Now, the vessel has asked us to explore and answer her question with regards what you term twin flames or soulmates. Now, what you must understand is what you term your twin flame or soulmate are actually, let us say, particular growth patterns or stories or experiences that you have created yourselves for yourselves. They are as such a means for you to grow, to grow closer to who you truly are. To grow closer through the means of love, so to speak, through the means of loving another, to actually find the love within. This is as such the ultimate, let us say, lesson within that. Now we have seen and we are observing that as such, love and finding the one is a huge preoccupation within your humanity. It is almost as old as your humanity. It is as old, let us say, within your linear time construct since as such you began. Though everything and every moment is in the now. Now, because as such you have manifested and constructed yourself such a dualistic and contrasted construct, it is as such the nature 
as such of the dualism that you have set yourself as such a belief system like that that you will find your let us say other half without actually this is that through this quest you should actually start also complement yourselves within yourselves in the, in the end of the day what you are seeking you already hold within you already hold within you already hold within all your twin flames all your soulmates it is simply the belief system that you have built yourself a belief system that is actually created around separation and segregation we've been repeating this over and over now as such why this notion and concept of the twin flame or soulmate is so prevalent for the moment it is your deep deep quest for union and let us say away from separation and segregation and as such there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with this let us say growth pattern yet many of you we see many of you get lost on the way get lost in these cycles of seeking and seeking and more seeking without and the more you seek without the hollower, so to speak, it gets within this vastness that you are, so to speak. These are just examples and analogy. Of course, you are not hollow, but this is what you experience and this is what you feel. And often you drive yourself from experience to experience with, let us say, beloved ones experience upon experience with seeking and the one and with every time let us say you seek further the more hollow you feel and the sufferance will drive you so far until you actually have to realize or come to the realization that you carry the fount within you carry everything that you need within this vastness that you are you are so perfect and we are repeating ourselves over and over to bring this home to you that you once you start truly tapping into the fount that you are the source found source that you carry within that you carry love within and that you are already perfect and you are love you are already love once you realize this deep union that you have within yourselves let us say that you are incorporating already the yin and the yang the anima and the animus you carry all that within and we repeat again often you set yourself or very often you set yourself let us say belief systems constructs where you learn as such in inverted commas the hard way because you feel you have to learn the hard way but we say no, times as such are changing in the now, with every now. They are changing that many of you feel now that there has to be no struggle. That actually it can be an experience within bliss and love and finding within what you are actually seeking from the moment you are seeking within from the moment 
you are actually discovering that you are whole that you don't need another to compliment you so that you can feel bliss and happiness then we say you have made a huge step towards a whole that is unity consciousness because everything is within you the whole of humanity is within you this is your construct that you have built as such that is so dualistic so contrasted such a struggle but we do not hold any value judgment you create what you want to create and how you want to create it everything is as it is with every moment in the now the only thing we're saying is that what you term your soulmate what you term your twin flame is you when you feel that you meet a twin flame you are only meeting another aspect of yourself because you make up the whole you carry everything within hence you can also cultivate the love within for yourselves and once you have incorporated or integrated that and you are really truly are at one with yourself and love because you are love as creation is love and you create yet you have created yourself a let us say a world of struggle a world where you constantly seek outside and this world that you created is such a story a storyline that forces you as such and you do that for yourselves to look within once the seeking has become or the seeking has created this feeling of hollowness that you can find the all oneness within and as such what you manifest these various let us say parts of yourself that mirror yourself and these are only growth patterns as such or experiences and stories that you have created yourselves you have created it for yourself so you as such come back to yourself within this vastness that you carry within you are everything you are one as you're part of the one as you're part of source everything is contained within we do repeat ourselves we do repeat ourselves so once you have found the fount of the unity within you can by all means attract a mate into your life and the mate as such will bring you love because you already have the love within you don't place a need you don't project the need that leaves you let us say hollow inside or leaves you with what you term a broken heart you only create that yourself to your broken heart because your heart is whole everything is whole within you are indestructible nothing nothing as such can destroy you only you create yourself belief systems where you feel something can as such hurt you or destroy you these are your stories that you create these are your let us say experiences that you create but we say as such it is not necessary as you hold everything within everything else is as such you mirroring within this dualistic construct and as in every moment of the now you're striving for more unity and this is as such 
the road you want to travel on. And it can be an easy journey once you take the journey within. We're going to leave this transmission at that. We hope this is helpful. We love you so much as creation is love. We love you. Goodbye. Love you.